What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires, and we have a crazy Industry Insider update today, or rather, what seems like a full overall plot synopsis for Deadpool 3. Not posted anonymously to 4chan or Reddit, rather coming directly to Twitter and from an industry insider source. Now yesterday, we covered Daniel Rickman's tweet where he tweeted out a picture of Battleworld and if you missed our breakdown of that, we sort of speculated what Battleworld might have to do with Deadpool 3. Well, today Casey Walsh came through on Twitter and laid it all out. We're going to break it down, how it leads up to Secret Wars, why in the world Battleworld is a part of Deadpool 3 in the first place, and how Wolverine ends up running into Deadpool as a part of this, how it all involves a TVA. We're breaking down the latest plot synopsis and coming from industry insider source Casey Walsh for Deadpool 3. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner to coincide with Loki. All you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment on this video if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now this is normally where I'd issue the lightest of spoiler warnings. Of course, that would beg the question as to why you clicked on this video in the first place, but actually this isn't that spoilery. It really just gives a lot of context to some of the details we've been hearing in the last two weeks about Deadpool 3. But if you wanna go into the unknown not knowing, now would be the time to back out. Okay, so Casey Walsh, that's at the comics kid over on Twitter, tweeted out this within the last hour. Hashtag Deadpool 3 is a lead up to Secret Wars. Realities are collapsing in and the TVA is picking heroes from these dying worlds to put them in one universe slash a new world slash battle world. Wolverine is chosen from the Fox universe and finds an imprisoned Deadpool and they start their adventure. Okay, so while I have a ton to say and we can ponder these details in just a second, I wanna take a step back and say, if this is true, Deadpool 3 is the project that I'm assuming all the other projects are going to start to look like, including Fantastic Four, as we approach Avengers 6 Secret Wars. Meaning, even though we've still got some grounded projects to go, like Daredevil and Captain America Brave New World, maybe even the Thunderbolts can be a part of this new group that are really doing their part. The whole point of the film is to push the Secret Wars plotline further. And so for a lot of us who have been waiting around to see where Phase 4 was going and how this all ties together, I think we're finally on the precipice of that happening. That's super exciting. We also had a quote from Kevin Feige who said, by the time we get to Deadpool 3, the multiverse is going to be in absolute shambles. This would definitely make good on that. Now, the fact that the realities are collapsing, but it's the TVA that is picking the heroes from these dying worlds to put in one universe is super interesting. And I think it might even have a huge implication for the 838 Illuminati. We'll talk about that in just a second, but we had already known the TVA's role in this film. And when we saw the behind the scenes footage of Wolverine and Deadpool fighting, that is 100% assuredly the void. So assuming this is the synopsis and the setup for the film, you can imagine Wolverine being chosen by the TVA and brought there. He helps bust Deadpool out. They end up fighting the TVA because because you can't really see Wolverine going along with whatever this is. They end up fighting the TVA and getting pruned. That's how they end up in the void and fighting each other, and then their adventure begins. However, the biggest implication really here for me is what it means for Deadpool 3 as sort of where it is in the timeline, and only because of what we've seen from the Loki trailers and the TVA let me explain. Especially in this most recent Loki trailer that came out this week, people pointed out that for a couple of frames, you can clearly see Victor Timely in the TVA. Now, he may be there with a contraption trying to help them fix what's going on with the TVA, but man, it looks like it's an absolute shambles and headed towards the end. I have already speculated or stopped short of explaining my theory that Deadpool actually takes place prior to some of the films that we've already seen and in fact Deadpool and Wolverine have already made their way to the 616. That would explain that Easter egg during She-Hulk when there was a headline that Man with Claws fights in bars. That was implying there's a version of Wolverine already in our universe and I think by the end of Loki season two, the TVA may cease to exist. And it's the TVA's existence that I think is only keeping the timeline from absolutely breaking loose. The kind of breaking loose that you would need in order to get to Battleworld. However, it's still in existence during this film. That's why they're picking out new heroes. 
And since it's still in existence and I don't think it will be by the end of Loki Season 2, I have a theory now that Deadpool and Wolverine has already happened and they've already made their way to the 616. And so by the end of that film, we will see that they're here and that's why we had that Easter egg in She-Hulk. Wolverine's already a part of our universe. And when they say a new Earth or a battle world, I think there's a good chance that at least part of the 616 is going to end up being that battle world. And for a planet that has already seen half of its population disappear along with the rest of the universe and then reappear, you might ask, what could be worse than that? Oh, you know, just a post-apocalyptic battle world where all the superheroes are going to end up fighting each other. No big deal. But for one final thought about the TVA picking all the heroes, knowing that they're picking Wolverine and maybe not even our Wolverine. Again, Logan died in his timeline, but a Wolverine from the Foxverse, at least some part of that multiverse. I have a question for them. Why in the world are they tapping Elektra? We already know Jennifer Garner is returning as Elektra. Uh, for this film and you mean to tell me that from whatever part of the dying universe of superheroes that she's coming from she was their best hope i listen i'm not an electra hater i read a ton of daredevil when i was a kid daredevil and spider-man were probably the two biggest runs that i was reading some of those themes in daredevil maybe not the best for a young mind but hey that is some of my earliest memories of comics I do like Elektra as a character, just hard for me to believe that she's the best out of whatever superheroes were left in that world. I think this also, though, definitely supports how we were hearing there's going to be a one-off from the Fantastic Four, maybe even the old-school Doctor Doom. I, I think this definitely explains what's going on. The fact that TVA is setting up the battle world, though, is something we're going to have to think about theory-wise and maybe go much deeper into in a different video. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below about all of this and if you totally agree with me that more of these films having to do something directly with secret wars are going to make the plot lines a lot more interesting and i cannot wait to see where fantastic four lines up and in all of this maybe it's going to be the case that by the end of that film and all these others they all end up in battle world and battle world is completely formed by the time we get to say avengers 5 and avengers 6 that would be amazing kind of makes me wonder how they're going to do any disney plus shows uh, but I guess they're trying to figure that out right now. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. We'll switch over to PlayStation 5 Pro next year, but for now, PlayStation 5s, there's at least three to go before the end of the year. One with Loki, one with What If, and one with the Marvels. We're also going to do a comic book giveaway all the way through October. Super simple to be entered to win. All the same rules will always apply. All you got to do be a sub, so hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter, at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube. Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you checking my music out,